tell this story? Well, sustainability is an important school priority. Recently, our sustainability committee have created new worm farms, vegetable gardens, and recycling bins to help us reduce our waste. Our story aims to inspire us to make small changes where we can and to look after the environment for a better future. Wow, look at that. <laughs> no script, no breath. Good job. <laughs> Pass the mic on to Louis. Louis, tell us um, how did your school take a sustainable approach to this presentation? We are very committed to producing sustainable stories. Characters and settings were created around our existing costumes and set pieces. Last year, through an audit on waste, we discovered that cable ties were our only one-off use product. This year, we have kept our cable ties to a minimum and even discovered new ways to reuse them. Having digital projections has cut down the need for sets and all of our other materials can either be reused, repurposed or recycled. We are very proud of our sustainable performance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you should be proud of your public speaking too, Louis. Keely. <laughs> Kelly, your qu my question for you is who would you like to thank tonight? Firstly, I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land, including elders past and present, for they hold the stories and hopes for Australia's first peoples. We would like to thank our parents for supporting our involvement in Wakikuri, our teachers for developing in us a deep respect for arts and the environment, our principal, Mrs. Robinson, for supporting this fantastic arts program at our school. Finally, we would like to thank the Wakakiri organizers, sponsors, and venue for this fabulous night. <laughs> 